Question number one, which of the following convention is also known as the minimum standard convention? Option A, MLC. Option B, ILO convention number 147. Option C, STCW convention 1978. Option D, STCW convention 1975. Option D, STCW convention 1975. Like that convention is not there. The correct answer is option B, ILO convention number 147. Second question, DASH is an international agreement that aimed to reduce carbon dioxide emission. Option A, Kyoto Protocol. Option B, Paris Agreement. Option C, Montreal Protocol. Option D, all of them. Correct answer is option A, Kyoto Protocol. Number three question, which of the following statements correctly describe the phenomenon of the surging in the two-stroke cross-head engine? Option A, due to sudden increase in the engine load, the exhaust gas may flow back through scavenge ports cause surging. Option B, due to sudden decrease in the engine load, the turbocharger pressure drops. This causes the high pressure downstream of the turbocharger in the scavenge trunk casing flow reversal of the scavenge air. Option C, due to sudden increase in engine load, the turbocharger turbine RPM may increase the compressor pressure ratio to surge. Option D, due to sudden decrease in the engine load, the turbocharger may stall at as the high pressure downstream in the exhaust system may cause reversal of the flow of exhaust gas. Correct answer is option B. Due to sudden decrease in the engine load, the turbocharger pressure ratio drops. This causes high pressure downstream of the turbocharger in the scavenge trunk casing flow reversal of the scavenger. Number fourth question. Which of the listed requirement of the cargo ships regarding to the personal LSA does not correspond to present regulation? Does not correspond. Option A, self-lighting lights of the live boy. Minimum required on the tankers shall be of a electric battery type. Option B, cargo ships of less than 85 meters in length shall as a general rule carry emergency suit for every person on board. Option C, ships with a length of 100 meters or less shall carry minimum 8 numbers of live boy. Option D, ships fitted with free fall live boats may carry thermal protective aids instead of immersion suits. Correct answer is option D. Ship fitted with free fall live boats may carry TPA instead of immersion suits. Fifth question, how is the concentration of the dissolved oxygen in the feed water of an axillary blower maintained in acceptable limit? Option A, feed water of is cycled through a DC heater. Option B, feed water is treated with the phosphates. Option C, oxygen is liberated in the three stages of the feed water preheating. Option D, oxygen is liberated by maintaining the highest practical feed water temperature. Correct answer is option D, oxygen is liberated by maintaining the highest practical feed water temperature. Sixth question, the portable extinguisher designed for use on almost all the classes of fire is option A, DCP, option B, water, option C is foam, option D is wet chemical extinguisher. Correct answer is option A, dry chemical extinguisher. Seventh question, STCW convention prescribes DASH standards related to the training certification on watchkeeping of seafarers. Option A, minimum, option B, maximum, option C, optimal, option D, all of the above. Correct answer is minimum standard, option A. Eighth question, Seebeck effect is used in option A, thermistor, option B, thermocouple, option D, RTD, option D, hot air sensors. Correct answer is option B, thermocouples. Ninth question, dash is the test during the which standard of measured are applied to the measuring device and corresponds output readings are compared with the standard values. Option A, linearity, option B, hysteresis, option C, calibration, option D, none of the mentioned. Correct answer is option C, calibration. Tenth question, which of the following is the greatest volume of the waste discharge to water? Option A, spillage from oil pipelines. Option B, sewage. Option C, nuclear waste. Option D, spillage from tankers. Correct answer is option B, sewage. Fire of a carbonaceous substance is known as option A, class A. Option B, class B. Option C, class C. Option D, class D. Correct answer is class A fire, option A. Twelfth question, PSC inspection compromise of SOLAS. Option B, MARPOL. Option D, collision regulation, call rec. Option D, all of the above. Correct answer is option D, all of the above. Thirteenth question, how many rescue boats of a cargo ship carry? Above 500 GT, you, we need at least one in the cargo ships. So the correct answer is option C, at least one. 
14th question how many bunker samples are taken during bunkering by drip sampling option a 1 option b 2 option c 3 option d 4 correct answer is option d 4 fifth question a freight paid by the charters on a quantity cargo chart shipped that is quantity agreed upon but not loaded by the charters is called as option a pro rate of freight option b back freight option c dead freight option c none of the above correct answer is option c dead freight 16th question use of the hail on as a fire extinguishing medium has been discontinued because option a high toxic option b expensive option c ozone depleting substance option d it leads to acid rain correct answer is option c it has ozone depleting potentials 17th question the maximum capacity of a fuel oil tank of any ships built on or after 1st august 2010 or as restricted by marpole annex 1 is option 1 600 meter cube option b 1200 meter cube option c 2500 meter cube option 4 3000 meter cube correct answer is option c 2500 meter cubes 18 question International Air Pollution Prevention Certificate Validity is IAPP Certificate Validity is Option A 4 years, Option B 5 years, Option 3 is 6 years, Option D is 3 years. Correct answer is Option B 5 years. 19th uh, question IOPP Certificate International Oil Pollution Prevention Certificate is valid for dash years. Option A 5 years, Option B 3 years, Option C 1 year. Option D is lifetime. Correct answer is option A, 5 years. 20th question. Entries in the oil record book part 1 are to be in. Option A, at least English, Spanish or French. Option B, English, German or French. Option C, English, Spanish or German. Option D, English, German or Italian. Correct answer is option A, the official languages, English, Spanish or French. 21st question. Your vessel has been in collision and you are not sure if the vessel is sinking or not. How will you handle this situation? Option A, make sure the live boat much, much has a bunker possible and you take of course to the nearest land. Option B, wait and see how the situation developing. Option C, search for the missing persons, continue for monitor situation, prepare for abandonment and in case of becomes necessary. Option D, leave the vessel and stay not closer than 5 nautical miles. Correct answer is option C. Wait for the missing persons. Continue to monitor situation and prepare for the abandonment in case of it becomes necessary. 22nd question. UI stands for. According to Inter IACS, International Association of Classification Society, UI stands for Unified Interpretations. Option B, Unified Interpretations. 23rd question. The coating which is provided on the wall stem of the exhaust wall of the modern marine diesel engine is of option A nickel, option B stellite, option C chromium, option D pneumonic. Correct answer is option B stellite. 24th question. The center around which the vessel trim is called as option A tripping center, option B center of buoyancy, option C center of gravity, option D turning center. Correct answer is option D turning center. 25th question. Supercharging and existing medium speed naturally aspirated engine will option a reduce weight of the engine option b reduce bulk of the engine option c increase existing power and decrease fuel consumptions option d increase piston space correct answer is option c increase existing power and decrease fuel consumption 26th question under marpole annex 6 sulfur content of fuel in eca area after 1st January 2020, option A 1.5 percentage, option B 1 percentage, option C 0.5 percentage, option D 0.1 percentage. Correct answer is option D 0.1 percentage. 27th, which of the standard give governs the specification of the supply of the residual marine fuel and distillate marine fuel? Option A ISO 3012 semicolon 1999. Second standard is ISO 3648 semicolon 1996. Third question is ISO 8216.1.2010. Option 
ஆப்ஷன் டி இஸ் ஐஎஸ்ஓ எயிட் டூ ஒன் செவன் ஐ ஃபன் டூ தௌசண்ட் செவன்டீன் இஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் கொஸ்டின் த டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் த ஸ்டார் போர்ட் அண்ட் த போர்ட் டிராஃப்ட்ஸ் டியூ டு விண்ட் ஆர் சீஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ லிஸ்ட் ஆப்ஷன் பி ஹில் ஆப்ஷன் சி ட்ரிம் ஆப்ஷன் டி ஃப்ளோட்டேஷன் கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் பி ஹில் டுவெண்ட்டி நைன்த் ரெகுலேஷன் தேர்ட்டி செவன் அண்டர் எஸ்ஓபிஇபி சொப்பப் டீல்ஸ் வித் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ ப்ரொசீஜர் டு ஃபாலோ to report an oil pollution incident as required by the protocol 1 as per the guidelines developed by the organization option b list of the authorities or person to be contacted in the event of oil pollution incident option d detailed description of the actions to be taken immediately by the person on board or to reduce or control the discharge of oil following the incident option d all of them correct answer is option d all of them 30th question which of the relay and ஆயில் டேஷ் பாயிண்ட் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ தெர்மல் ரிலே ஆப்ஷன் பி மேக்னெட்டிக் ரிலே ஆப்ஷன் சி ஓவர் லோட் ரிலே ஆப்ஷன் டி அண்டர் வோல்டேஜ் ரிலே கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் சி ஓவர் லோட் ரிலே